So I just wanted to show you how you can insert two function boxes at the same time. In this case, looking to do an if statement and a round down. So I'm in task seven of the second of the higher admin packs and I've already done my HLOOKUP to work out the stand cost depending on the size. The next thing we're being asked to do is to give ScotBiz clients a 15% discount off the cost of the stand and then we have to round that figure down to the nearest whole pound. So this is how you do it. First of all let's click in the invoice amount in J2, go across to insert function and the first one we're going to start with is the round down. Some of you might go and do the round down after, there's various ways to do this but if you're using the function boxes start with the round down. So let's click on that and bring up the function argument box. Now let's leave number, leave that blank just now because we actually have to work out what the invoice amount is going to be but we do know that we're rounding it down to zero decimal places, it's rounding down to the nearest whole pound. So we just put in zero for number of digits and then we go back up to the number box. Now if you go up to the top left hand corner where you would normally have the cell and where you would have your name box you've now got round down, it's telling you what function you're actually in. If you click on the drop down options it brings up the last 10 functions that you have used. Now I have actually used an if statement very recently so I'm now going to click on the if statement here and you'll see that the function argument box now switches to an if statement and what we've said is that essentially if there are Scopus client, so if f2 equals yes, remember the, the speech marks for that. If that is true, what are we going to do? We're going to give them a 15% discount. So essentially for these people they'll have to pay the stand cost but only have to pay 85% of the stand cost. That will give them the 15% um, discount. So if they are Scotbiz clients they're going to get um, a 15% discount otherwise they're going to have just to pay the stand cost which is I2. And then click OK and there the calculation has been done. And if you look at the formula bar, so if you had been typing that in without the function argument boxes, you'll see you've got the essentially the number here has been worked out with the if statement. You're using the round down function and you're rounding it down to zero decimal places. And then you can copy down and thereafter you have to then sort on a few fields. So that's how you work with two insert function boxes at the same time.